In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a five minute scalping strategy that uses a failed breakout. This is a simple, clean and accurate strategy for beginners into trading Forex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Emily and on Mindfully Trading, I share my journey as I grow and develop as a Forex trader. I've been trading for over five years now. I originally started trading the US stock market with Warrior Trading and since then I have switched to day trading the Forex market. In particular, I focus on day trading pound against the dollar. I do this trading both a live account with Vantage Markets and I've also been trading with the Prop from the Five Percenters, which is a company that I work with. I'll talk about them a little bit more later in the video. Alongside trading full time, I'm also a full time mother to two boys under the age of two. If you want to join me on this journey and get access to the latest trading tips, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel below. Also, all of the resources and software that I'm using in this video will be linked in the description below. There's also a link where you can grab a free download of a trading plan if you want to follow along with that make sure you download that and then you can make a note of the steps we're going to go through in this video to document this strategy for yourself let's get to it Before we jump onto the charts and break down this strategy step by step, I've just jumped into my account here in MetaTrader 5. This is the account that I took the trade in. I took it live in my account with the prop from the five percenters. And I wanted to show this to you because although I'm not showing you this trade in the live markets, this is a recap of a trade that I did take in the live market. So it is a real trade. Um, now the account size for this is 20K. So my risk is very low for this. This is why it's not a huge amount because this is a realistic approach to trading, not a fanciful approach. So the 20K account that I took this trade in is an account that I have with the prop from the five percenters. And the five percenters are a company that allow you to trade their capital and you take a split of any profits that are shared on the account. They have three different options available for their trading programs. And the account that I have that I am currently enrolled onto is the hyper growth one step program. The thing I like about this program is that there's no time pressure. There is an unlimited amount of time to pass the program. So this is the program that I'm currently enrolled into the $40,000 account size, but I'm starting with a slightly reduced account side of $20,000. My profit target is 10% and the stop out level is 6%. That's why my risk is so low. And that's why my winnings was quite low uh, because it focuses on the process. And there's also a very interesting growth plan available on this account. So there is a scalability option there to scale the account up to 4 million. Now, I think that that will take some time, but it is certainly very interesting that that is part of the program. If you want some more information on the program, I have got a link below in the description. Let's jump onto the chart and break down the five minute scalping strategy step by step. As I'm recording this video, it is Friday the 19th of January. Now I took this trade yesterday, Thursday the 18th of January. So what I'm going to do here on trading view is I'm going to use the very handy replay tool, bar replay tool to go back in time so that I can show you in real time what it was I did and how I took this trade. So I've taken my candlesticks back to seven o'clock in the morning GMT on Thursday the 18th of January. Now I want to add a few details to this chart before we begin. This is going to be a clean, a clear and a simple approach to trading this fail breakout strategy, but I do still incorporate a couple of indicators into the strategy and that's what I'm going to add onto the charts now. First, we're adding the daily high and low indicator. Secondly, I've just added my session times indicator. Thirdly, I've just added my round numbers indicators. These are the institutional price level indicators. I have created separate videos that go into more detail on those indicators that I use. So I will add a link to those above. Make sure you check those out. And that's all I'm adding to this chart for now. So I bet you are wondering, how do you trade the fail breakout strategy? Well, here are the steps that I took. Just after seven o'clock GMT, I had a look at my phone and I saw this. This was very interesting. So first of all, let's have a look at what market structure is doing. As we can see, price action opened this day here. We dipped down into the red for a bit and then we shot up, we broke the daily open and made a new high. We had a little pullback and another push up. We had a deeper pullback, but we respected the overall pullback here, the lows, and we made a new high. So it's very obvious looking at that 
simple approach to reading market structure that price is moving up. It's swinging higher, making higher highs and higher lows. Now, what's interesting here is we had a push up above the previous daily high indicator and price pushed up and closed above this indicator at 25 past six. So this is before the London session technically opens and there wasn't that much momentum. It kind of pushed up slightly and we had this large bearish candlestick down. We then surged up just before seven, but we had another strong candlestick down. And this candlestick pattern here are not picture perfect, but they are what I would call mirror bars, where we have a strong push up and an equal strong push down. On the second candlestick, the bearish candlestick, the wicks are pretty much the same. So there is no buying pressure there. We don't go up much at all. We just simply open and come back down again. And this is a very interesting pattern because it's coinciding with these two indicators. It's rejecting the institutional price level at the whole dollar and pound, which is 1.27. And it's also just above the previous daily high. So we've already had a breakout here, but it's showing weakness and it doesn't feel like it's going to be a strong breakout. So all of these work together to inform me that this could be a potential failed breakout setting up. But what do I need to clarify to get into this trade? I'm not ready to get into it yet. What I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for price action to close strong below this level. This is the structural level here. And at the moment, we've just got a couple of wick rejections. So it's not confirmed to me until we close below. I've just unleashed some more candlesticks. And as you can see, price has trended lower and it's closed below this level. Although this is a five minute scalping strategy, you can drop to a faster time frame. You can drop to the one minute if you want to see some more detail here. And that to me just solidifies this pattern because we had a strong momentum candle here pushing up and then price just falls off. It's like it just falls down the stairs. That's a typical indication of a bearish reversal. Closing below the lows here, we had to push up here and then another close below. So once I read all of that in price combined with my indicators, I then decided to set an order here just underneath the institutional price level. Now, I actually set quite a large stop looking at this pattern and looking at it in hindsight, I could have set a tighter stop of 10 pips, which would have still been above the highs here and which have basically would have provided more profit. But in real time, the trade that I took live, I used a larger stop of 15 pips. And why did I do this? Because I was just about to go out for the day with my boys. I didn't have time to sit and watch this trade closely. So I wanted to give the trade more room just in case it did retest those highs. And in case it whipped about a bit, I wanted to just protect my position. And for my target, I usually look for a break of the lows. So break of this market structure here is 1.3. I like to have a minimum of 1.5 R and that's where I set my profit target. And that's it. I set trade alerts at the profit and the trade alert at the stop and I left this trade to do its thing and I went out and enjoyed my day with my boys and when I was having my lunch I checked my phone and saw that my alert went off and I had actually hit my profit target. So that's a really nice simple way of trading the failed breakout trading strategy on the five minute time frame. There's also other ways that you could trade this. So I'll just show you a screenshot that I did of the trade I took live for this. And I actually had another position set here uh, where I was considering adding to the trade. But as I said, I went out for the day, so I missed the chance to do that. But if I had set that, if I had time, then it would have triggered it and it would have been able to capitalize on more profit. I do talk more about how you can add to positions, how you can try to get more profit in my upcoming ebook, Forex Trading 101. And if you are on the waiting list, for the ebook, it is so close now. In fact, I have a date for you. The ebook is due to be launched next week, next Saturday, the 27th of January. You'll be able to get a copy of Forex Trading 101. It's a complete guide for beginners. It goes through everything you need to know to get started trading Forex, looking at risk management, looking at technical analysis and sharing all of those important trading strategies. There's also a section in there of my journey in case you're interested in that and some personal tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. You can still join the waiting list for the ebook so that you can stay up to date with the latest news next week and insights as it's getting launched. So make sure that you join the email list below. Meanwhile, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've learned something, please let me know and help me out in return by smashing the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.